Hello, I'm Lou Green, this week's host on Eye on Tampa Bay, and I'm with Sharon Calvert. Hi, Sharon. Hey, Lou. How are you doing today? I'm doing just great. How could I not do well? You're with me. Well, that's right. It's <laughs> the time of the year to to, uh, to be looking forward to and um, yeah. be thankful for for those things and our family, and, and so I'm really glad to be here. Well, it's pretty good to... Uh, be in sunny Florida this time of year. It sure is because yeah. my daughter is up in Ohio right now and she said it is mighty cold. It's getting there. And, uh, <laughs> so we won't complain, I'll tell you that we, much. <laughs> no, we won't. And um, you know, I, there's, there's a few things going on down here that I wanted to discuss with you and of course I'm sure you want to discuss and they have to do with transportation issues. Um, it's always transportation. Why is it always transportation down here? Well, for one thing, in this Tampa Bay area, it's like a cat with nine lives. Mm -hmm. um, they keep bringing up the same issues that uh, people keep saying they don't want. Yeah. Um, and it's an ongoing uh, discussion, battle, or debate, however you want to put it. But, uh, but we have had some interesting things happen in the last week. Why are elected officials so committed to giving the people who voted them in office what they don't want? Well, that's a, that's a good <laughs> <I> mean, question. <laughs> that's exactly right. That's not listening to the people. Um, that's listening to the special interests in many cases who happen to fund uh, probably many of their campaigns. You mean it might be something to do with the money? Might be. It's always follow the money. <laughs> I mean, that, that is for sure. And there's a lot of it today in politics. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just yeah. the fact that there is. And it's unfortunate in my case. Um, and that's why we have to be vigilant as people. So what? What? How, how much money is involved in this transportation issue around the Tampa billions. Bay area. <laughs> You're talking about billions. How many zeros? <laughs> uh, whatever you know, whatever billions is, it's it's uh, and over over you know a long period of time, um, it it grows and grows and it keeps growing because um, they over under underestimate the cost and and they always mm -hmm. come back for more. I always hear these things and say, well, if we don't build it now, it's just going to cost more later. And then I think, wait a minute, if we do build it now, it's going to cost a hell of a lot more later. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good analogy. You know, I mean, it, it really is. It's the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> well, actually, we're the gift that keeps giving. Well, in this case, I think. I think in this case, it's the gift that keeps taking. I, I would say that that is true, yeah. and, we've, and with rail in particular, that that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. So, um, so this week in in the past week, um, our partners and friends over across the bay in Pinellas, the Pinellas County Commissioners voted and we expected it to put a ballot similar to Hillsborough's in 2010 but a, a referendum to raise their sales tax 14 percent be the highest in the state and basically a lot of that money is going to fund um, a, a light rail system over in Pinellas County. So where does this system go? Well that's interesting because mm -hmm. It's going really from uh, South Pinellas, I mean North Pinellas, down to South Pinellas. And I'm not, I mean I could show you the map and you can go online and find it if you go to Greenlight Pinellas. Um, but the interesting point that their map shows, which to me is very disingenuous and is very misleading, is it appears that they have a link that goes across the bridge, Howard Franklin, to Tampa. That is absolutely no tr not true. There is no plan for that. The penny tax um, for the rail referendum in Pinellas is only for that north-south link. So the media has reported it incorrectly. Um, it appears that they, the narrative they want out there is that it is going over the bridge and that is absolutely false. Um, Florida Department of Transportation is looking at the bridge because they are going to do some either replacement, at least replacement, as well as looking at adding additional capacity, which would include looking at a transit corridor, which could be rail, we hope not. That's $1.2 billion, another billion dollars, just mm -hmm. to go across the bridge. Yeah. But um, also looking at adding additional capacity <clears throat> with some managed bus toll lanes, which we believe would be 
uh, the most cost effective, more cost effective, be highly utilized versus a high cost, underutilized train that goes across that really nobody's going to ride.